Chicago. Thank you so much for volunteering to be part of the National CE team. I really appreciate it. You're the backbone as being the event manager in Quality Assurance. My name is Laura Fink. I'm one of the volunteer director of the competitive events for the 2015 NLC and a local advisor from Miami. And thank you again. So to begin, we would like for you to read your guidelines, those competitive event guidelines, at least three times before you arrive in Anaheim. I'm sure you may have time on that airplane ride out to California. Go ahead and annotate them. Write those question marks. Write those questions you may have for your lieutenant and chairperson. As you know, we're here to help. And we'll have plenty of time at the event manager and other times to go through it with you and make sure that we truly are following the guidelines. The next thing we would like you to think about is the supplies and equipment you'll need. Make sure we have a rolling cart for you that we'll show you at the event manager meeting. And we'll have in it all your forms, your tests, scantrons, supplies. If you have a skill event, what supplies will you need? Make sure to double and triple check everything. We have signs for you. And the other thing you'll want to make a note of is when does your lieutenant want you to pick up all these materials? And what are you going to do with them? and where to return them. You will be receiving some secure items. All states run their secure item room a little bit different, but you will need to know what items you'll certainly need, such as test. Um, maybe you'll need to know what exactly scantrons you'll need for your events that you're going to run with the skills. Um, you'll need to find out for your lieutenant yeah, they're probably packing your event box for you and meet it with you and make sure that you have everything in there. And uh, what do you do if there's a problem? Remember that your lieutenant and your chair will always be around to help you. Um, we'll also give you, I'm sure they'll give you their cell phone number so you can contact them. And also you can send a runner or a person, one of your event personnel to help to the competitive events um, headquarters. And we will always be around to help you out. You're never alone. You may have a little bit of time on a Tuesday, if you arrive on Tuesday or on Wednesday, to walk around the Hilton and the Marriott and look at the rooms that you've been assigned. We we'll also will have a link with a schematic map of the rooms so you can kind of get an idea that can be a little tricky in the Hilton to be able to find them. Your state advisor has sent letters and emails to the people who have been assistants who will be helping you. And they should, you should, from that letter or from your state advisor, know what time they are arriving. Um, this year we have a little bit different. Your event personnel orientation will be right before your competitive event orientation. And for some of you, you'll just have round one. And then for others, you will have two competitive event personnel orientation. One for your round one and one for your round two. We thought this would be easier on everyone because everything will be condensed and put together in one time zone. So you'll have plenty of time either on Wednesday or possibly on Wednesday evening after our event manager um, meeting to go around, walk around, see the sites, see the rooms, so you'll be ready to go with your event personnel orientation. Time management is critical so that we can run all of our events on time. Um, there's only so much space in both hotels, so we need to make sure that every event starts on time and ends on time. Um, this year there is something different. We do have the quality assurance person meeting with the judges and orientating them so that will allow the event manager to be there and have everything set up before the first competitor arrive. Um, make sure that all your personnel know the importance of starting on time, the section leaders, the timers, all your event assistants. Um, when one start, um, if everyone's on time, we'll be able to end on time and we'll be able to get everything done. Make sure you know how far apart the minutes are, if there are appointment times, and what do you have a plan A and a plan B uh, to show you event runs on time. Remember, we're going to have to be a little bit flexible and come up with different ways and different directions uh, to make sure that things get done. As I said before, a little bit different change of pace. We're going to have a quality assurance personnel meet your judges and have a meal with them explain to them how to fill out the scantrons and what the event is like and what everyone's expectation is. So it's going to allow that you, the event manager, to be able to be working with your event personnel to set up the competitive event and allows the quality assurance who is going to be working with the judges to make sure that they completed their forms properly and that they know how to complete the forms and what the guidelines mean 
And so we think this will be a, a good help. We'd like some feedback um, on this to see if you thought this was a good idea. You were chosen by your state advisor because of the positivity that you exude and your enthusiasm. And you just need to convey that to all of your event personnel. And we want the students to go home happy. So if we have an optimistic event manager and a positive quality insurance personnel, we know we're going to have a wonderful time and the students will be so excited to be part of HOSA. Your job as the event manager is to conduct and direct the actual event with that passion that you exude and so obvious to your state advisors and to those other host advisors from your state. You're going to be showing them, your, your section leaders, your timekeepers, your other event assistants, what's going on, what they're going to do, and you make sure everyone's on the same page. You may want to check with your state advisor if a dress code or dress policy is established for your event personnel or event assistants. Do you have a state polo you're expected to wear? Are you expected to wear your formal host or clothes? What would make sense for where you're going and what's doing? You're the manager. You can do it. Everybody has great faith in you. Just as we were just talking about the dress code we may expect from the adults who are the event assistants, we do have a dress code and for the students and the competitors. Always err on the side of the student. If you have any questions about the dress code, please contact your lieutenant and so they can help you understand. The other thing we have is those pesky cell phones, as we all have trouble with in the classroom. The students are supposed to have their, these cell phones out and up, face down, on the top of the table, and there's no exceptions. Just tell the students to put their phone to bed and have it resting for them. No matter how much we plan, how much we visualize, no matter how many we think of plan A, plan B, and plan C, sometimes we have challenges. And sometimes we just need a little more self. So use your event assistant, your quality assurance person, your lieutenant, your chairperson, Call in your state advisor. Make sure that we and the competitive events directors know and can help you and help you think about the big picture. We're going to have plenty of assistance of those of you who are going off site, and we'll have people in both the Anaheim uh, Hilton and the Anaheim Marriott to be there for you. Challenges are there, but we can rise up, we can go, we can take this big adventure. The section summary is a very important tool that we use in the um, competitive events headquarters. Um, we particularly use it in tabulations to make sure that all uh, challenges or issues have been addressed and we know about them. Very important that we have that. Also, we love the evaluations. We're into continuous improvement. How can we make these competitive events better, simpler, and easier for all so that the students can have the wonderful time that they deserve? So make sure you read those evaluations and give us your feedback. We love it. So anchors away as we go on this adventure and make sure that the HOSA competitive events for 2015 is the best possible. See you in Anaheim.